In this class, we will try to solve a problem on pointing vector. Let us see what is given in the problem. It is given that there is an electric field intensity of a plane wave traveling in a space is given by this expression. So, this is nothing but your electric field in space and time. Okay. In this field, consider a square area of 10 centimeter cross 10 centimeter on the plane x plus y equal to 1. The total average power in milliwatt passing through the square area. Now, if I want to understand what is the physical meaning of this, how I can understand that? It is nothing but if you are an electric field or it is nothing but your electromagnetic wave is moving or propagating. Let us say there is a square area, okay, some square. How much average power is crossing this square? Okay? How much average power is crossing this square? square which is of dimension 10 centimeter cross 10 centimeter right okay so this is the physical meaning of this question let's see that how i can solve this problem so let me write it down the electric field first the electric field is being given as e x comma t as 24 cos omega t minus k naught x e y cap Right. So, this is nothing but your beta, right? If I compare with the standard equation, right, we know what is the standard equation. Standard equation is E is nothing but E naught cos omega t minus beta z x cap. This is the standard equation, right? We use generally use in the plane waves. So, this is nothing but your k naught is nothing but your beta. This wave is propagating in which direction? This is very important. This wave is propagating. See, this wave is propagating in which direction? It is propagating in plus z direction, right? So, it means this wave is propagating in plus x direction. So, we will say that wave is propagating in plus x direction, okay? By comparing the standard equation, okay? Now, how I can find the power? We know that how to find the power, right? We have already seen the formulas. So, P will be nothing but E naught square by 2 eta, right? And they are saying that it, we are talking about a lossless medium. So, nothing is being given. The alpha is not mentioned. We are going to consider as a lossless medium, okay? So, what is the E naught here? E naught is given to us? Yes, E naught is given as 24, 24 pi. Sorry, there would be pi here. So, this would be 24 pi the whole square divided by 2 what is it for a free space what is a eta eta is nothing but for a free space is 120 pi or 377 ohm so 120 pi right if you solve this right what you get is nothing but 7.53 now remember pointing vector is a direction right pointing vector will point in the direction of propagation right or pointing vector is nothing but e cross h right so the pointing vector will always point in the direction of propagation in which direction I am propagating? I am propagating along the x direction. So, this will be A x cap, right? But my purpose is not to find in pointing vector. My purpose to find the average power crossing the square, right? So, how I can find that? So, we will say that P crossing something, let me call it a P crossing, is nothing but the integration of P dot ds, whatever is the area I am talking about. Okay, so what would be my power here? This comes out to be 7.53 ax cap dot ds. Now, when you say ds, this is a dot product. Remember, this is a dot product. So, the dot product of what? This is a dot product of this area, right? But this 10 cross 10 centimeter square is in which plane? It is in plane of x plus y. Right. So, what I need to do is I need to know the unit vector, right? If I know the unit vector over here, unit vector here, I can take the dot product, right? What would be the unit? How to find the unit vector of a plane? It is easy. If x plus y equal to 1 is there, the unit vector would be the unit vector is equal to x cap plus y cap by root 2. This will be your unit vector. You can check the basics of plane, how you can find the unit vector of a plane. Okay. So, once I, I got the unit vector over, I just need to substitute there and I am done there, right? 
So this is nothing but the area and it is a dot product so I have to put the unit vector there. So this will be nothing but Seven point five AX cap dot AX cap plus AY cap by root two into ten centimeter because this is nothing but the area, right? So ten centimeter ten into ten centimeter, which comes out to be ten into ten to the power minus two into ten into ten to the power minus two, right? If you solve this, if you take the dot product, it should be only along the x, right? So the ay will be ax dot with ay will be 0, right? ax dot ay would be 0. So only the component will be along the x, right? So this comes out to, if you solve for the, let me write it over here. If you solve this further, what you will get is 7.5. 3 ax sorry ax and that will be coming as so this will be with ax into 1 by root 2 into 10 to the power minus 2 into 10 to the power minus 2 right if you simplify this and you can solve this what you will get is 53.3 into 10 to the power minus 3 watt or I can say that the answer is needed in milliwatt so this will be nothing but 53.3 milliwatt this is what what is your power which will be crossing so this is what is the power 53.3 milliwatt of power will be crossing a square of area 10 centimeter cross 10 centimeter right so we have concluded what would be the power that would be crossing that square area right we'll see how to solve more on this in the next videos